In this module, you will learn how to activate a Fiery Pro server or a Fiery XF7 license. We will start by exploring how to activate a license on a new Pro server or Fiery XF7 installation, and then see how to license your system if you are performing an upgrade from your Fiery XF6 system. When you start a pre-installed Pro server for the first time, a window will appear that is divided into two sections. The top section is labeled Language Setup and is used for language selection while the bottom section is labeled Activate Software and is used to license your system. Select the Activate Software section and the License Activation screen will appear in your default browser. If you have installed your Fiery XF server on a non-Pro Server Windows computer, the license activation screen will appear in your default browser automatically at the end of the installation process of your Fiery XF server. From this point on, the licensing of both the Pro Server and the non-Pro Server systems are identical. Now, if this screen does not appear, or if you have closed it, right-click on the Fiery Server Control icon in your Windows toolbar and select Manage Licenses. You can also left-click on the Fiery Server Control icon to open the Fiery Server Control window. In the License section, you will find a single available option, Manage Licenses. Click on that option and again, the License Activation window will open. In addition, if you have Fiery Command Workstation installed on the same computer that Fiery Server is installed on, always the case with a Fiery Pro Server, in Command Workstation, you can launch the License Manager by navigating to the Server Manager, select the License and Contract option from the Server menu, and then click on the Manage button. Note that you can only use Command Workstation to launch the License Activation window if it is already connected to the Fiery server that you need to add the license to, and that this Fiery server is currently running. Likely, this means that you are adding a license for additional options and not the initial activation license. Whether you launch the license activation window from within Fiery Server Control or from Command Workstation, the same window will appear. Before you proceed, make sure your Pro Server or Windows computer has Internet access and that you have the License Activation Code, LAC, available. This code will be included with your Pro Server or your Fiery XF documentation or will have been emailed to you. If you cannot locate your license activation code, contact your EFI dealer. On the license activation screen, click the Activate button. The Activate button is used to license your system and is also used to add additional features or options to your system. Remember, you will need to have Internet access in order to complete this process. Read and accept the EFI Software End User License Agreement by clicking on the I Agree button and on the next screen enter your supplied license activation code and then click Continue. Your system will contact the EFI licensing server, confirm that the code is valid, and display a list of products and options that the code will allow to be licensed on your Fiery server. Confirm that the list is accurate and click Activate. The EFI licensing server will generate your license and your system will download the license and install it on your system. The window will now show that all of the appropriate options have been activated on your Fiery server. Click Finish to complete the licensing process. Back in the main Fiery activation window, you will see displayed the current licenses installed on your system, license version, and expiration date if the license is not permanent. Clicking on the little plus sign will display an expanded list of all of the options that are licensed to this system. You can then close the license activation screen. Remember to register your new software and your Software Maintenance and Support Agreement, SMSA, by going to fiery.efi.com slash fiery.xf.smsa to ensure that you receive the support and upgrades that you are entitled to. Should you ever need to move a license from one system to another, if, for example, you are moving your system to a new, faster computer, in the License Activation window, next to the appropriate license, 
click the Deactivate button. The next screen will display the license that you have selected. Click on Deactivate. A confirmation window will appear that the selected license has been deactivated. Click Finish and you can install the license on a different computer. After you have licensed your Fiery XF server, you can proceed with installation of Fiery Command Workstation and then connect to your newly licensed server and connect to your first printer. Also available in the License Activation window is an option used to migrate a license to your Fiery XF7 system from a prior version of Fiery XF that was secured through the use of a hardware dongle. Hardware dongles are no longer needed starting with Fiery XF version 7. Note that once you have used your dongle to migrate your license from Fiery XF version 6 to version 7, you will no longer be able to download your version 6 licenses, nor will your newly created LAC code work with any version of Fiery XF prior to version 7. Also, migration is only possible if you have a valid SMSA or ESP contract. If your SMSA or ESP contract has expired, contact your certified EFI dealer or EFI directly before proceeding. Begin the transfer procedure by clicking on the Migrate button in the main License Activation screen. Note that this button will not be available if you've already licensed this specific Fiery server. On the next screen, you will be prompted to plug your Fiery XF dongle into a USB port on your computer. Wait a moment for the dongle to be recognized by your computer, and then click Next. Your system will then communicate with the EFI licensing server to ensure that you are eligible for an upgrade. If the system determines that you are not eligible for an upgrade to Fiery XF7, you will see this screen and be directed to contact your dealer, EFI directly using the Contact Me link, or by sending an email to Fiery Wide Format Support at EFI.com. If you are eligible to receive an upgrade to Fiery Pro Server or Fiery XF version 7, you will receive a confirmation message along with a reminder that once you complete the migration, you will no longer be able to use your dongle with your legacy Fiery Pro Server or Fiery XF product. Click Next to continue. Read and accept the EFI Software and User License Agreement by clicking on the I Agree button. Displayed on the next screen will be a list of licenses currently associated with your dongle that can be migrated to your new Fiery 7 system. Click Migrate All and a new screen will appear after the licenses have been successfully migrated to your new system. Click Finish. The next screen will display your newly migrated licenses. Clicking on the plus sign that appears to the left of any license will expand a list of any individual licensed options. This completes this module.